So Rail C just announced some big news and initially I wasn't gonna make this video But then I realized they actually did drop a lot of news We got some underwater exploration information some sky PS sneaks some new devil fruit information And probably the most important thing is an entire update on the whole progress of rail seas as a whole But the first thing we got is information on sky Pia, which is actually a really big deal I've talked about this before but essentially fishman island and sky Pia were kind of confirmed because we had bosses from there But they weren't 100% confirmed and now sky Pia is actually 100% confirmed unless I'm somehow blind and this isn't Skypea. but this sneak is obviously the entrance to Skypea. and if that wasn't obvious by the clouds we literally have this exact structure in actual one piece and if you guys haven't watched one piece which I hope most of you guys have I mean we're literally talking about a one piece game here but regardless this used to be called heaven's gate but they just changed the structure to rail heaven but it's literally the exact same structure but they also gave us some information on Skypea as a whole and if you really think about it this information kind of applies to the entire game so the first thing they did confirm for us that Skypea is one of the biggest islands and obviously that would make sense I mean if you just look at actual one piece Skypea is probably the biggest island off the top of my head I mean Skypea literally has multiple layers of island it's not just one island the only things off the top of my head that are somewhat close would be Fishman Island and Wano and for those that don't know Wano is pretty much confirmed we've seen multiple bosses for it so I'm pretty sure it's in the game but it's not 100% confirmed so that could be one of the bigger islands in it and also Fishman Island we've also seen bosses for so it's most likely confirmed as well but besides those two like i said i can't think of anything bigger than skypea so if y'all could tell me in the comments and even then skypea might be bigger than those two but if you guys aren't sold on skypea being big as hell let me show you guys what they showed us next here is just the heaven's gate not the actual skypea really but just the gate to skypea and here's the actual player model compared to it i'm not even lying when i told you i didn't even see anything there at first on discord the image is a little smaller so maybe that's part of the reason why but i literally didn't see him at all and and even then you can't even notice any details it is really tiny as hell but obviously at the end of the day this is really just a gate so it really just depends on how big the actual island is but if they're showing us the gate is this big i would assume the island is up to par as well but also you guys might be thinking islands being this big could also be a really bad thing realistically and the main reason for that is if the islands are realistically too big and there's not enough players in the server obviously you're never going to run into any other players and the island's going to feel kind of lonely but honestly it looks like rail seas might have actually solved this problem the first thing is for those of you guys that actually watch the rail seas movie you can see hella npcs actually moving around and interacting with each other and doing a lot of things and this is overall just gonna make the island feel a lot less lonely from just if you were there by yourself but i don't think you're gonna be on these islands by yourself i think there is gonna be a lot of players and let me explain why rail seas just confirmed recently that there's gonna be 19 to 20 islands in the game on release and they're gonna be split between two seas and if you guys don't know what that means essentially it means it's gonna be split between two servers and if you guys do the math that means c1 and c2 are gonna have about 10 islands each c1 might have a bit more because they said c2 might be incomplete on release but regardless let me explain why this actually really matters in terms of the islands actually feeling lively and having players on all the islands if we go to the official rail seas experience which is private right now it has a server size of 50 now obviously this isn't 100 confirmed that it's gonna be 50 on release but it probably means they want it to be around 50 on release and that's extremely high and i'm really hoping they can actually keep it at 50 or above because to put how high that is in perspective games like block troops literally have 12 player servers and a game like deep Oaken that has a pretty big size only has a 30 player size server but what that means is every island will still have like four to five players on it if you do the math but if every island has like five players on it along with all the npcs that damn near act like regular players that's gonna make the islands feel great in my opinion and it's really gonna feel more like a lively game compared to games where it kind of feels dead on the islands like we're literally comparing it to one piece games where the only things on the islands are five bandits in a circle come on let's be real here but the next thing we got is also pretty significant news and it's the trench armor now this armor is essentially scuba gear so if you're not a fish man and you can't breathe underwater you can use this to explore the depths and for those that don't know the depths are really important in rail seas there's seven layers to the sea and they're really important for exploration and also they said that devil fruit users can wear this to not drown now what you guys might be thinking is can devil fruit users actually use their different devil fruit skills and transformations underwater and we had an entire discussion about this on stream make sure to subscribe if you guys don't want to miss the next stream but essentially we're trying to figure out how this would work like if you have gum how is this suit gonna stretch the same way is it gonna be stretchy and me personally something like that i don't really care but it doesn't really make sense if you're turning into a full form dragon but your scuba suit is allowing you to turn into a full form dragon and not dying and things like that so in that case i'm not sure if you're gonna be able to use devil fruit transformations underwater even though you are able to not die underwater if you're a devil fruit user but what i will say is regardless of if they let you use your fruit underwater 
water or they don't there is another alternative now in one piece bubbles are really how you get around if you're a devil fruit user underground or even a human in general and obviously it doesn't really make sense if you're transforming from a scuba gear but a bubble makes a lot more sense to me so at the very least i'm pretty sure you should be able to use transformations in your bubble if you can't in your scuba suit but like i said that's assuming that they decide to add bubbles to rail seas and now they also did confirm sunken ships underwater battles but in the gift they put of it it kind of shows a ship going above water so i'm a little confused what they mean by this there's two possibilities of what this means or it could be both possibilities it's either there's going to be like zombie and skeleton controlled ships underwater that are going to attack you when you're exploring underwater but either way it's going to be some sort of live event and in my opinion live events are always good for games it makes the game feel more fresh and it makes the game feel like you're actually doing something different but the next thing they confirmed is devil fruit effects impact frames is top quality and optimized back to work i go and i know all my rail season impact frame haters are in tears right now they're crying don't tell me the impact frames are actually working now they look good what am i gonna hate on but don't worry guys they'll definitely figure out something else now it's gonna be the grass texture looks weird or something so something that literally makes zero sense but it sounds like they finally finished reworking all the fruits and the reason i say that is they did say they were gonna rework all the fruits after all of the changes people complained about they wanted the effects and impact frames to be nicer and initially they said we were gonna get all the fruit showcases in like a week which was like a long time ago like a month or two ago but they had to cancel that because they had to make all the copyright reworks due to the whole dmca situation that happened but overall i think we can assume that all of the fruits are the quality of the gravity fruit that we got reworked and reworked again and reworked again and reworked again so probably up to that quality so honestly this is just a big w but lastly we got an overall roadmap update on where rail seas currently is in development rail bad said that rail seas is currently about 60 to 70 percent complete roadmap wise a lot of things set us back like reworks but still progressing and now the main reworks he's definitely talking about here is the actual copyright reworks but you guys might be thinking what is 60 to 70 percent realistically mean here like when are we most likely getting the game but don't worry i got you but realistically chat gpt got you because i put all the information in about rail c's and it said we'll most likely be getting the game in about six to nine months and that might seem kind of sad to be honest because that means we're getting it in early summer or late this year but it's actually not as bad as you might think because the information i gave it is how long it's been in development and what percentage they are in development but what ChatGPT doesn't really account for here is the fact that rail seas had a whole dmca rework where they had to rework everything and this also accounts for other ton of delays that also happen which aren't included now i think it's safe to say that rail seas will most likely run into another delay it's just happened a ton of times it's most likely gonna happen again but i don't think we'll have another rework the size of the whole dmca delay so this definitely means if everything goes smoothly and we don't get another huge delay like that we could still be looking at the game pretty soon from now not anything crazy soon but three to four to five months isn't impossible for sure but we still gotta get lucky realistically it's definitely not guaranteed but if you guys want to do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button i will be doing the thug shake at 50k subs now for real though i appreciate y'all if y'all interested in roblox anime games here's another video on screen right now click it it's really good it's a really good video i promise you click it